Welcome to the boating news show. Be it a little later than usual this week, we had some updates to the studio gear, which took ages to sort out on Friday. Then we had some firmware issues and I started going down a rabbit hole of problem finding until eventually we're back up and running. So apologies for all of those expecting a video on Friday. Normality can now resume. So coming up, we look at this week's news from the world of boating. We have yet another giveaway prize and today the prize is pretty mega. We announce the winners of that inflatable emergency VHF antenna from last week and we check out the latest craft from Gemini. We have a look at a DIY craft that's breaking records. We have a look around the latest Simrad Cruise GPS and we see how Sunseeker have changed the game and adapted to a marketplace without boat shows. Firstly, a shout out to MDL, the UK's largest marine operator who are sponsoring this show. We'll hear more about MDL later. For now, let's finally get on with this week's show. So this week in the world of boating news, we have learned that Gemini Marine have launched a new boat. You may have seen my Facebook Live interview with Gerhard, who has now since taken the reins as MD of Gemini Marine. Well, Gerhard and his team have not sat idle. They've cracked on with new developments, one being for their commercial sector. They've got a new boat based on its WR880, and 1060 hulls, the South African-based Gemini Marine have launched a new version of its Gemini Wave Rider 1060 with a completely renewed cabin. The first demo model has been completed by the great and very experienced guys at Novi Marine. And this new cabin rib has uh, been developed specifically for professional use by emergency services and maritime contractors in coastal waters due to the demand from the commercial market wanting to better protect the crew against weather and environmental conditions during longer stays on the water. Now, it's available in a standard version which can have up to uh, six people um, within the wheelhouse, or you can have the 1060, which has an extended version, which then gives you capacity for 10 people. Gemini uses vacuum infusion technology with foam core to manufacture the GRP cabin, keeping the weight down while not compromising on strength. The windows and entrance doors have been supplied by a UK-based company, Seaglaze, which is pretty cool. And the wheelhouse can be supplied with an open rear or like this boat with a closed rear bulkhead, including access door and rear windows. And the foredeck can be safely accessed via the front door in the cabin. This first demo 1060 has been equipped by Nova Marine with Ullman dynamic seats. Uh, with the driver and the navigator protected by the Echelon uh, shock absorbing seats. The passenger seats are the Ullman Biscaya suspension seats as well. So the crew is going to be super comfy for those long distances and long working hours on board the boat. The craft has a C category B marking and the rib also complies with the English MCA workboat code 2 and can optionally be supplied with a category 2 60 nautical mile certificate of class. Other certificates uh, for the boat are available upon request and the prices start from about 99 grand excluding VAT. When chatting to Gerhard about the new boat over the last few days, uh, we've arranged for me to fly out and make a film about the new boat. So keep an eye out on our YouTube um, because that will land in due course and I look forward to being able to put this really sophisticated boat through its paces soon. Now, Moving on, a few weeks ago, we covered off on a story of U-Boat Works. You may remember they brought out a new submarine, the Nemo, which has won various awards. Well, it makes pretty much the coolest thing to have on board your Expedition Mega Yacht. If you've had a dig around and uh, by surprise, you don't have the millions in your back pocket for the ultimate National Geographic Explorer setup, you could always be mad enough to build one yourself. Sounds a bit crazy, right? Well, 
not for Hank Pronk from Ainsworth in Canada. After four decades of DIY submarine building, with his latest try being his eighth effort, Hank has built the deepest rated homemade submarine called the Elementary 3000 or E3000 for short. He pushed the boundaries of homemade design with a submarine rated to 3000 feet. That's 914 meters. This submarine has actually been pressure tested um, in a chamber in Vancouver to a depth of 2,900 feet. It's not really industry news. I just thought it was an incredible achievement uh, when it was announced last week. And I think personally that it's absolutely mad. To check out the tour of his sub, then check out the link in our bio, I'll pop it below. And let us know what you think of this mad creation. With boat shows either canceled last minute, postponed, or hanging in the balance, it's been very difficult for builders to showcase their products or craft to prospective new clients in the traditional formats. Some builders have embraced social media and utilized these platforms to do little mini videos and reviews. And some have even done FaceTime walkthroughs like uh, the broker Tom Wills, who I interviewed on our Facebook Live sessions a few months ago. However, Sunseeker, in typical Sunseeker fashion, have changed things up a bit and gone all out, opening a stunning showcase venue in Poole. They revealed a new invite-only area, somewhere to entertain clients on site. As receptions go, it's a step above and beyond. The showcase venue is to complement the permanent Sunseeker year-round boat show display featuring five models on the hard, and at least five others moored on the adjacent pontoons. The land-based boats are easily accessed via permanent viewing platforms, with the display being regularly updated as the boats are sold. On site, it's pretty cool because they've got a bar named Robert's Bar, obviously in loving memory of the Sunseeker founder, Robert Braithwaite. They also have a 10-seater dining table for entertaining, a design suite for new owners where they can uh, choose all their specs and go through all the nice swatches, etc. They also have an impressive private cinema boasting a wealth of technology for all those glossy Sunseeker videos. The living area has an array of best boat artwork provided by the Maddox Gallery. The exterior of the showcase boasts a number of Sunseeker yachts all of which are available for viewing. Now it's true to say that if you're in the market for one of these craft, this is a stunning venue to experience the ethos of all things Sunseeker and their customer care. And when I'm next on site, I'll pop some photos up on our Instagram, which can be found just by searching Powerboat and Rib on Instagram. It's one of the largest marine instas in Europe. So we've got loads of content that goes on there and I upload onto there every week showing sort of behind the scenes of the things that we're up to. Now, for SOLUS regulations, there is a rule in Chapter 5, 19.2.7 that states that all vessels must be fitted with a radar reflector. The importance of such is underscored when a boat suffers engine failure or is caught out in fog or sea mist, especially for this SOLUS commercial stuff. Nonetheless, laws are one thing, but the implementation of them is quite another. Now, leading radar reflector manufacturer Echomax are helping to encourage more people to fit these life protecting devices by making the installation of them all the more simple and uncomplicated. To this end, the company has developed its new combo radar reflector, RTE brackets, which make the process of installation all the more straightforward. The new product with its range of fixings is designed to suit all manner of craft, and it will not only accommodate various reflector types, but also aerials and navigation lights and different bits that you can rig onto it. If you want more information about it, just go on to echomax.co.uk. I'll pop the uh, link below so you can easily navigate to it. Now, we're moving on to a cool bit of kit, and I think something that represents superb value for money uh, for this end of the market. If you're in the market for a new basic GPS, then listen up. Maybe something for a small rib, inshore hard sports boat, or even a jet ski, you could probably put one of these on. Though this sits in the lower end of the market, it packs a punch. Yes, it's the Simrad Cruise 5 inch, available in the five like this, or the seven or nine inch models. I've been sent this one to have a play with, and I think it's pretty cool. 
Now, we're not gonna do a full review here on the Boating News Show. I'm gonna change up that format a little bit where we give you an overview of some cool features, things I like, don't like, etc., And then we'll do a full technical review and sort of top tips, etc., in a different post. Um, we'll pop that up on YouTube as a separate video. So, a quick fire round of uh, the unit and its features. Well, the Simrad Cruise can display the charts, the navigational pages, um, which is like the highway, and uh, your sonar. It can be done also in split screen view or separately in full screen. The rotary dial and keypad controls make navigating through the menus and creating routes and accessing temperature and speed and depth readings, battery voltage, or whatever you need effortlessly. Everything you need for simple and straightforward GPS navigation is right inside this box. I'm gonna move this thing out the way for a second. So it's got a great screen, uh, which is good in all kinds of different uh, light. It's got a good mounting bracket included in the box and it even comes with its transducer. I like how it's got your navigation pages, your echo sounder, everything is really easy and it comes in that sort of traditional Simrad uh, look to the main screen. Simrad UK have this as a suggested retail price of £433, but I've found them cheaper on various deals from Chandler's and marine electronic suppliers such as Cactus Marine, Force 4 and like. And I think it's a pretty cool, decent machine, especially for the price. Now people ask me what my favourite electronics provider is, and it's a tough one, as it's really down to the user and what they like personally. I'm a fan of Simrad. I've used their kit in the harshest of environments for years and they just don't let me down. Therefore, I have trust in the kit that while I'm at my type of boating, which is sort of performance far offshore uh, boating, that it's going to look after me and it's not gonna fail me. The truth is though, that all the brands these days offer leading equipment and they're all on their A game. It's more about what you want from your user experience and how it performs for your type of boating. Say for example, Garmin versus Simrad. Two mega brands competing. Garmin has a lovely interface. It's very easy to use. It's very popular. The Apple iPhone, I would say, of the MFD world. However, the Simrad is a little bit more Android-y, a little bit more in-depth maybe, even geeky to use but you can really maximize a lot of data and options on the interface. Simplicity is key on this, and uh, it's nice to see that Simrad aren't trying to ram in as many endless features as they can into such a small unit, because that would then uh, test capabilities of processing power, etc. For a unit like this, you want it to do its core features that you need on the water well and easily. If you want more thrills, then you'd need to expect uh, to jump up into a more expensive unit, which would have uh, more advanced computers that would be able to deal with that larger processing requirement. So things I like. Well, it's compatible with both CMAP and Navionics. I have in this one, the CMAP N Plus chart, and I've been running it through various different simulations while I've been bench testing it. So it's great that it's not just locked to a Navico owned product. I love the easy uh, split screen view, which has a really bright display and it's good um, in that uh, sun sunlight, like I've said before. And I like how it can be flush mounted on the dash or you can rig it on its own bracket. Like I said, I like the split screen view because this enables you to have a lot more data side by side I also like that it comes with a transducer for the money, all included, so everything in one box and you're ready to go. A superb Simrad feature is the Trip Intel, which gives you a lot of analytical data about your previous boating trips. Things that aren't so great, it comes with a base map. All base maps are useless on any machine from any brand. I don't understand why any company uses this as a selling feature on the box. It's a waste of time. So if you buy something with a base map, from any electronic brand, do invest in a proper chart to go with it as it's gonna give you a lot more detail and information while on the water. Next up, it's not networkable. So on the back, it's got um, 
two inputs are power and for your transducer. So you can't run something like a NEMA network, ethernet, vessel view, etc., on it. For that, you're gonna to need to step up to the Go series, which approximately is about another 100 pounds more. Um, however, you will lose the buttons on the side. So between the two, I quite like this because it's got a little bit more real estate and I quite like the buttons. However, the Go is networkable. So if you have a Mercury and you wanted to use this, you could pair the engines to the Mercury Vessel View mobile app. And then you could mount that to say a scan strap pod or gorilla mount um, to the side of this unit. And then you'd have a very cool micro uh, setup and quite an affordable setup too. So to round up, if you're looking for a great, compact, affordable entry level unit, this offers a lot for the money. You have everything you need in the box to get cracking and it's a top pick from us at PBR. All the top brands are really on their A game at the moment and Simrad has got a fantastic unit in this little machine. For a full review, wait for our YouTube channel to upload a new video soon and we'll put some top tips in there and go through it. Now last week we ran a giveaway prize to win a Shakespeare emergency inflatable VHF antenna. This one in fact, which will be great in your arsenal of safety kit, especially on smaller craft of those maybe that are just using a handheld VHF. Our winner this week is Justin Rude. Congratulations, Justin, who according to your comment has a little Hon Wave. Well, this will be perfect for it. We recently had use of a T32 Hon Wave and that content will be making an appearance soon. And we've got some suggestions on how you can maximize your use of your small boat, but well done, mate. And I uh, hope that it goes well for you in your safety kit. So what are we giving away this week? Well, we have a mega giveaway. Yes, for everyone who likes the sound of this Simrad Cruise, Listen up because now is your chance to get your hands on this very unit for free. Yes, PBR have teamed up with Simrad to give this unit away once we've finished our reviews on it. This is a massive giveaway prize and it's worth a lot of money. So to enter, you know the drill. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this video and comment why you should win this Simrad Cruise 5. It's a mega giveaway, so get all your boaty mates involved because it's a good one. We will pick a winner next week. Remember, the more original the answer, the better it is as a runner up because if something makes us laugh and shows originality, if you don't win the Simrad, then we'll most likely give you a free 12 month subscription to PBR. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Sorry for the delays in this episode and see you again next week. A massive thank you to MDR Marinas who have sponsored this show. When it comes to successful marina operations, MDL offers incredible experience and great expertise. Established in 1973, they are now the UK's leading marina and water-based leisure provider and one of Europe's largest marina groups. Currently operating 20 major marinas and boatyards which are home to over 7,000 berths. They have also added two idyllic holiday parks to their collection, providing the perfect getaway by the water. Find out more at mdlmarinas.co.uk.